what's up guys so this is a video on how to connect a smart remote to the GoPro Hero 5 session every time so I noticed that everybody was showing how to connect to the smart remote for the first time but nobody was showing you how you're supposed to connect up after that which is a different way so I thought I'd make a video to help anybody having problems connecting up so initially the first time you connect up you are pairing your camera and smart remote together for the first time which you only need to do once after that you only need to simply connect up you don't need to pair up each and every time you connect up so right guys before I forget if you like this video give it a like and if you haven't already subscribe leave any comments below and if you need any help just ask so right the first thing I'm going to show you is how to connect up for the first time and then I'll show you how you're supposed to connect up after that. So the first thing we're going to do is press this button at the back and uh, turn the camera on. And we're going to use this button to scroll through the menu. So we're going to scroll to connection settings. And we're going to press the shutter button to press OK. Connect to a new device. We're going to press OK. And then we're going to press the button at the top to go to GoPro RC after that we'll press the button at the back and go to the tick and press the shutter button to press OK now it's in pairing mode so now we'll connect the remote control up and we'll turn it on by pressing the mode button as soon as it comes on we'll press the settings button to put it into pairing mode so you hold that until you see the pairing sign. So now it's into pairing mode. With the older version of the smart remote, what you need to do is when you turn it on, you need to press the mode button and shutter button at the same time. And that will put it straight into pairing mode. So if you notice there, it's got a number one. So it's telling you it's found one camera and it's still looking for other cameras just in case you want to connect some more up at the same time to stop this pairing we'll press the setting button once and that'll stop it pairing with the uh, older version you'll press the shutter button once to take it out of pairing mode so now we're connected up so this is how you uh, pair up and connect up for the first time so right before I show you quickly how to use these settings on the remote I'm going to show you how you're supposed to connect up from now on. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the Wi-Fi connection off on the camera. So we're going to press the button at the back, go to connection settings, press OK. Turn off connection settings, we'll press OK. So our connection settings are off now. So I'll turn the camera off and now I will turn the remote off now by pressing the mode button so right guys this is the way you'll connect up after you initially paired up so the first thing we're going to do is turn the camera on by pressing the mode button uh, the button at the back now we're going to scroll to connection settings press OK and now we're going to go to turn on connection we're not going to connect new a new device we're just going to connect on turn on the connection so now the connection is turned on you can see the Wi-Fi sign there and that's all you need to do now with the remote you just turn it on you don't need to put it into pairing mode because it should find itself automatically so we'll just wait for it to find it so there you go now it's connected so right um, quick tips on the remote control if you press the mode button it'll flick through all your modes so at the moment if you can see there it's got a camera sign so we're in video now we're in burst photos, time lapse, setup, connection settings, and video mode. 
So if I press the settings button, that'll take us into our settings. If you want to scroll through the menu, you just press the mode button to go through it. If you want to change anything, you just press the shutter button to change it. If you want to change it back, you press it again. If you want to come out of there, you just press the settings button. And that's how you use it. So if you press the record button, um, it'll record. If you press record again, it'll stop recording. If you keep your finger on the mode button, it will turn the remote off and it will turn the camera off as well. So do that now. Now if I press it again, it will turn it back on. And turn the camera on as well automatically. Just wait for one minute while it connects up back with the camera. So now it's connected. So if I press record now, the recording. So if you wanted to turn the remote off and save the battery or anything, the only thing you need to do is press the mode and settings button together and that will turn the remote off and leave the camera on. So there you go, you can see that the uh, camera is still on and the remote is off. So to turn it back on you just press the mode button and it will op automatically turn on and connect to the camera and sync together. So there you go, it's synced and it's saying it's recording a video and it's on 37 seconds. So if I press record, it'll stop. So everything you see on this display is a, a mirror image of what's on the camera. So it's telling you it's on uh, video mode. It's got a W there for wide. It's got 1080p at 60 frames per second. PT for Pro, uh, Pro Tune is on and uh, this is you've taken two videos you've got five hours and 37 minutes left on your SD card you've got two bars of battery left and your Wi-Fi is turned on so right guys that's how you use this remote control I'll just press the mode button to turn it off and uh, I'll just quickly tell you something about the remote the remote itself will control up to 50 cameras which is good it'll work uh, it's waterproof up to 10 meters so that means it you can take it underwater and stuff up to 10 meters but it won't work underwater so basically it just means you can use it around water you can get it wet but it'll only work above water and it will work up to 180 meters away from the camera as well so that's good as well so another thing guys before I forget um, with the camera itself when you finish using the remote control make sure you just go back to your connection settings like I showed you before and turn your Wi-Fi off so if I hold on before I turn it off I'm going to show you something oh it's turned itself off so right I'm going to turn it back on but if you look when it comes back on it'll have, it'll have the Wi-Fi sign on there so there you go it's right next to the battery there so we'll turn that off by going to connection settings and turn off connection and that's it that turns off your connection now so you want to make sure you turn that off because if you don't even if your camera is turned off it will drain your battery so that means when you come back to it your battery is going to be completely flat and you won't be able to record anything so right guys um I think that's everything I can possibly show you with it and uh, I hope this helps somebody out who's having problems connecting up. Thanks for watching guys, like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Bye.